Hey, it's Ori from BeardDiveProject.com, and today I want to talk about uh, stars. And I want to tell you a little story because I started to research um, stars in general, and I couldn't really find like a good definition for stars. I don't think. Uh, I mean, I started to kind of put two and two together based on some story. So I want to share the story with you and maybe get your feedback. Maybe figure out. You know, maybe find if there's someone that actually understands uh, what starch really is. So let me put this in a different uh, perspective. So you have simple carbohydrates, and if you consider that a link in a chain, if you start to put those, join those links together and build a chain, you go from a simple carbohydrate to a complex carbohydrate. And so starch is supposed to be somewhere around here, a complex carbohydrate. So when we brew beer, for example, and we go through the whole sacrification rest, what happens is that we're cutting down that chain of carbohydrates into smaller carbohydrates. Now, one thing that I know from brewing beer is that cutting down a complex uh, carbohydrate or starch down into sugar requires a lot of water, uh, you know, minerals, enzymes, pH, and you know, all these other things. And so the one thing, though, is that because starch doesn't have a whole lot of water, it needs to absorb, it needs to hydrolyze would be the... Uh, technical term, I guess. So that's basically the uh, general idea behind it. Now I started to wonder, you know, okay, so that starts. Um, then I came across a story that really caught my attention. And so this is a story that I want to share with you because I don't know how true it is. It makes sense. It kind of fits in with, um, you know, everything else that I talk about and, you know, the videos here at BeardDiveProject.com. And here's what it is. So, you know, you take the potato, for example. So where does the potato come from? Well, the original potato comes from Peru. It's the uh, Peruvian papa. It's what it's really called, papa. And it grows in the Andes. And it grows in the Andes because the soil out there has the perfect amount of water, minerals, pH, temperature. The bacteria around it put out the right enzymes and, you know, all that thing. So it's like the same five components that we need for brewing beer, same thing that works in the soils, right? So everything's perfect, it's balanced, and that's where the papa just grows while it needs like basically no help from men whatsoever, it needs no pesticides, no insecticides, nothing. It just grows, it's natural, right? So what happens when you take the Peruvian papa out of its native land, then it's going to go into different soil, and if it's lacking either the minerals, the pH, or maybe the enzymes, then it's not going to grow as healthy. And so that's basically what happened. You know, again, this is a story that I heard. You know, when the Spanish conquistadors came down and they tried to take the uh, papa back to Spain and you know up to like Ireland, and they tried to grow it out there, well, they weren't getting any luck because it was growing just too sick, it was attracting too many pests, and so they needed to use, um, you know, something else, so either pesticides or insecticides. Now, one of the things that they did was that they mixed the papa with the native batata, that's the uh, sweet yam, um, you know, version in uh, Spain, what grows out there naturally. Now, by mixing those together, they got what they now call Patata, and that's where the name potato comes from, right? So that's basically what potato is. Now, the one thing that really caught my attention was that I guess you're not really supposed to crossbreed plants like that. Um, hybridize is what the uh, term would be. I don't know anything about growing plants, so I may be completely wrong with all of this. But um, I guess what happens when you do things like that is that you create starch. And it's not that starch is not found in nature, but that starch that's created, it's kind of like gluten. And it's just, it takes on a different form. And that form basically what I think it is, because I haven't found any research papers or anything that says this, but this is just me, you know, coming up with this, where I think that by doing that, it's that the starch basically loses water. And the thing about starch is that the term starch has kind of taken on a different meaning now because if you go back to like Middle English, Old English, starch will come from the word sturgeon, which means to stiffen. So, you know, if you start to think about it, um, you know, like when I was in the Navy, they made us uh, actually iron our own clothes. 
And, you know, they made us use starch to, like, iron out our skivvies and, you know, everything basically needed to be crisp and stiff. And we used starch to stiffen that up. Now, you know, if you watch the uh, video that I have on starch, um, one, uh, well, another video on, like, starch and diet, one of the things that I know I felt when I got rid of starch in my diet was that, you know, if I go to the gym, um, now, I don't get stiff muscles the day after. You know, I'm not as sore. I'm not nearly as sore. And so, you know, this is what, you know, I'm thinking, you know, starch is, you know, one, I guess one of the ways that it affects our diets is that it robs water and minerals from our diet. And it also makes, you know, our muscles stiff, um, just like it makes other things stiff. I mean, glue and plastics are made from starch. And again, it's not that it's starch itself, but it's the, uh, what I will call the man-made version of starch, which com comes from hybridizing plants like potatoes. And so, um, I don't know. That's the story I heard, so I wanted to uh, put that out there and, you know, maybe see if there are some crazy historians that reference, you know, books and, you know, they spend all this time in the library and whatnot. But this is just what I found, and it kind of it just makes sense and fits in with uh, what I'm doing, but hey, let me know if I'm wrong, and let me know, you know, what are the uh, facts, and so, hope you found this useful, and check out the video on gluten, which kind of takes on the same idea as this. Talk to you later.